I want to get a sink in here. I want to get the toilet in here. I want to get the shower and bath in here. And I want to get all the plumbing done because that's, that's my big MO today. Well guys, sorry I did not put out a video for you guys on Friday. Um, yeah. If you guys are subscribed to our secondary channel, which is Real Talk with SLR, I'm gonna put a link right over there by Gary's head, but we kinda had let you guys know, um, this last week I actually got really, really sick, and I come down with the shingles, which is horrible. I was down and out. Yeah. And while I was down and out, Gary had to take it. It's uh, a whole nother reason why that it's been the Gary show lately too. Yeah. And I've been hitting it, yeah. hitting it, hitting it, hitting it, like yeah. no tomorrow. We are not going to let this get us down. No. Um, we are gonna keep moving forward and we're gonna continue that today. So when we last left off you guys, we were completely sealing in all the flooring. We got that all done. We sealed it. It didn't turn out 100% the way that I was hoping and you know, in my mind and what I envisioned it to be. Um, but I was like, well, maybe I'll do the paint thing, you know, like the garage paint. Well, in the instructions on that, it, it pretty much told me that I was gonna have to take a wire brush and scrub the whole basement floor and take off the sealer that I just put on. We plan on putting a bunch of throw rugs down here too, and it is a basement, our temporary living area. Yes. So we are done with the floorings for now. They are completely sealed and we're happy with it. So we're gonna continue moving along. And today we are actually standing inside the bathroom. I'm gonna grab this camera. We're gonna show you guys a few things cause Gary has been super busy while the camera was turned off. I see some more drywall, unfinished. Yes. What's going on here? Basically, where we left off last, I just did all the plumbing and everything like that. I needed to get this drywall up, so that way I can actually attach all the nipples to uh, the tubes coming out. I've got this in, I've got the drywall in, I've got the blocking for the, uh, you know, the toilet paper roll at 33 inches, and then I've got blocking all the way from here down at five foot so we can put our little, uh, you know, towel hangers that Mel got. One thing that I'm yeah. noticing right away, the giant pipe is giant cut. Giant pipe is also cut, yes. And also, we've got the sink drywall on this side. I've got to figure out what we're going to be doing on this. That big old cabinet that we got, if I just put it right here, it's going to end up like right there. That just gives a lot of space over here. So we're gonna move that down and probably right in the middle. We'll do the show like little pocket shelving like you see at uh, you know hotels and whatnot. We just don't know how high or anything else. I gotta pick Mel's brain on that when, uh, when I can. But for right now, I wanna get a sink in here. I wanna get the toilet in here. I wanna get the shower and bath in here. And I wanna get all the plumbing done because that's, that's my big MO today, plumbing. First things first, I'm going to start attaching these nipples to this guy. Alright, so that's in. Uh, let me find out how much do I want to have sitting out. I don't want to cut too much, but I don't want to cut enough either. So I've got my cover on. I'm going to get this bit on here. Okay. And this is the on-off valve. Let me Crank it over to off. It's always brand new, always seems to be a little touchy. No go gauge. Basically, you're fitting it right into here. And if it does, if it goes past that line, then uh, it's a no go. You crimped it too much. And I am there. in there I'm not sliding over because if it seats all the way then you're I really really like pecs I'm not gonna lie uh, PVC piping is uh, definitely time-consuming because you have to measure everything and everything else out same thing with brass or copper or steel it's the same aspect pecs you can like just loop it here or there and you're there and you're good and you have a little excess if you wanted to tie in a little later you don't have to worry about, you know, messing it up here or there. But let's get these guys on. Okay. I bought the wrong one. Whatever. <laughs> It'll be underneath the sink and nobody will see it. But I will know. 
I'm so excited for getting plumbing. Like that, that's a huge thing. Plumbing will be done. I'll be able to have a sink in here. I'll be able to have a toilet in here. I've been dreaming about that toilet. It's coming. Having a flushing toilet is going to be game changer. I mean, we haven't had like real plumbing since we've been here on the property, so. I'm really, really looking forward to that. So PEX is really easy, guys. Honestly, you just have the PEX pipe sticking out. You got the crimp ring on there and you put whatever fitting you need. You crimp it down and there you go. No feel, gluing and priming and all of that required. I feel like I'm back at my old job with these things. Oh yeah? The suaders. Did both. Now I gotta check. Always check. And now that I got that in here, I'm just gonna set the toilet line and the two sinks one over here in the side. Clean up my mess. So I'm not tripping over things while I'm trying to carry in a toilet or a sink or a bathtub. <laughs> I know, and it sucks because I really can't help Gary with any kind of heavy lifting or anything right now. <sighs> you know what's awesome? Hmm. The shower and like the bathtub and everything, it's plastic, so it's not really that heavy. Don't worry about it. It's, well, not, it's not a big worry. Nice attempt to make me feel better. I love you. Love you. Yeah, I married a good one. Alright, first thing I got to do, oh, I'm going to take out this cardboard from when we did the concrete, the pipe didn't break and not only that, now I've got the space for my flange, it should fit perfectly right in there without me having to break any concrete up. The problem I'm going to have is getting all this stuff out. <laughs> Give me. So what I'm going to do, this is all thin set right up here. I need to take that down just a tad right there. But I need to also bring this pipe down just ever so slightly. So this flange can actually sit. So it needs to be about that much right at my fingertip below the surface. And there we are. And now I've just got to cut it down a little. I'm going to try to even it out. So it is offset right here so you can put the bolts in and then turn them to where it's actually going to hold it st sturdy right here in the thinner spot. I know I've got this wax ring. I 
there. So now that I've got the flange on there, I'm gonna get this wax ring, slap this guy up in here. There we go. All right. Toilet time. Make sure it's straight where I want it. Yeah. All right. So now I got these little white doohickeys. I'm gonna get on there. Tight. Tight, tight, tight. These. There's one part of our toilet. The major part. Mm-hmm. All right, next part. That is down in it. So they give me this little nifty tool so I can tighten it down. So there it is, I got the toilet in. I'm pretty happy about that. Here comes the test. I don't have any running water just yet, but I do want to test the drain. So this should not let any water pass. Make sure that that guy is holding water. I don't see any water leaks. Let's let the water go. Water went out. Water drained good. All right. There's that drain. That drain's working like a charm. I like that.
I have the overflow hooked up to the drain on the tub. Next is going to be the pee trap from here to there. I got the bathtub shower as far as I'm going to be able to do tonight. I need one more piece for the pee trap. So I'm not going to mess with it anymore. Uh, I said tonight. It is late. See you guys on another video. I really hope you guys have a good one. We'll catch you on it. Later, later.